It's that time of the year again where I'm wearing my Dello because it's the season for Oktoberfest. And I've covered a lot of Oktoberfest recipes in the last two years. You will find them in the playlist right here. I highly recommend trying these. And today I will make some pretzel dumplings with a cream mushroom sauce. you through the ingredients please know that there is a blog post that accompanies this video it's right here you will find all the measures the quantities there for this recipe and you can switch between the metric and the US customary system with the link below the ingredient list okay let's get started with the ingredients what you need for the pretzel dumplings are some pretzels. So these are leftover pretzels that I have from the last couple of days. I was playing around a little bit with pretzel recipes and pretzel uh, shapes. So this is what I get out of it and we ate some but there was more than we could have. So this is what makes it different from the regular dumplings where you would just use the regular rolls. Um, here you will have a different taste, a much more intense taste and for that reason in this recipe I will not use the bacon that I usually use in my other dumplings. I also need milk, eggs, some butter, onion, salt, pepper and for the mushroom sauce I need some white wine and uh, these are this is a, a Riesling. I've decided on this Riesling for the simple reason that I had it in my pantry. Then I also need some broth, mushrooms and a lot of cream. And I almost forgot to mention the thyme. So this is from my garden. This is a garden harvest. You can use fresh thyme if you have some or dried thyme and you need it for the sauce. Now the first thing to do is to cut the pretzels into smaller cubes. And you can see they are kind of dry and that's good. So they shouldn't be like hard, but they should be like from the day before at least. So I want to show you the size that I'm cutting these. So this is a good size here. So this goes now into a large bowl and I've also heated the milk and the amount of milk is a little bit of an adjusting thing. It depends very much on how dry your bread is or your pretzel in this case. So be careful in the beginning. Don't put too much in it because you can take it out and let it soak for a little bit before you decide if you want to add the entire amount of milk or if you're good already. Okay, I set this aside and next I want to dice the onion. Now usually I would use a small onion for the dumplings and a small onion for the sauce but since I'm doing these together I will just use one large onion and I have diced the entire onion already although the sauce is made a little later. And I use now half of the onions that I just diced and fried them in some butter. Now next are the eggs. I want to scramble them a little bit. the work with the hands I'm removing my rings and 
Um, also, I, I don't know if you noticed, I removed most of the salt from the pretzels before I cut them. And um, that means there's probably still some salt in there, but it's not that salty anymore. And I'm going to mix now all remaining ingredients together. And I will have to add salt and pepper. And it's a little bit of guessworking. And a little bit of trying a little bit of it. So I'm careful with the salt in the beginning. Okay, and now I have to mix this with my hands. And today I'm not showing you the same technique that I used for the dumplings from bread, which you can find there if I can link it here. And uh, instead, I will show you how to make Serviettenknödel. So, translated, that would mean napkin dumplings. So, it's a different way to shape them and to, to boil them. And I like that way very much because it makes it easier to portion it and also easier to shape it regular. Okay, so this is already very nice, but I feel that a lot of these um, pretzel pieces are still kind of hard. So I let this soak a little longer, set it aside, and start with preparing the sauce. For the mushroom cream sauce, I first have to clean the mushrooms. And um, I wanted to show this to you. I believe that some people don't know that you do not rinse them in water. Uh, they would soak too much of the of the water and become mushy. So instead you use a damp cloth and you just rub over the surface like this. Okay, and then remove the stem. For this recipe I prefer to just have the slices of the head of the mushrooms. I just cut them into slices like this. Let's take another look at our dumpling uh, mass. So it's soaked a little longer now. Let me see. Yeah, it's much better now. I still feel that they have like feels like lumps. That's okay. It doesn't have to be like like a mashed potato or something. Um, I just want to be sure that it's really soaked well and sticks together very well. So I give it one more mix and then I'll try a little bit of it to make sure I have enough salt in it. It's perfect. It has the right amount of salt, just as I like it. Okay, and now we get to the part with the technique. So I have a fabric napkin here, and I would advise you to take a neutral color for that. I once tried it with a green napkin. Um, it didn't turn out so well, <laughs> I'd say that. It was green in the water. I felt a little bit like in um, What's the name of that movie? Anyways, so I'm now using this mess and put it onto the napkin. Like this, okay? clean my hand. All right, and now I flip this over and I want this to be quite firm, so I press this a little bit 
and then I roll it. Make sure that it doesn't come out on the sides. Okay. So, and then we need to take some kitchen twine and close the ends. So I press this a little bit inside too, um, mostly for the reason that I just realized that this is a tiny little bit too long for the cooking pot that I'm using. So it has to fit into the pot with the water. <coughs> yeah, so this is what it looks like. I have a little bit left over. I have to use a second one and uh, I have to move to the stove now so let me move all my equipment over there. I brought a large pot of water to a boil and I will now reduce the heat so that the water is just barely bubbling so simmering and then I will put the pretzel dumpling into the water. Um, while I wait this to stop boiling that much I will already start to Heat my pan and I'm adding butter to the pan and also a little bit of oil. Okay, so here you can see that the water is barely boiling, it's just a little bit, and I'm now carefully still a little bit too large. Let's press it a little more. And put this in. I'll have to, I have to bend it a little bit. It's unfortunate, but it's no big deal. Okay, so this stays in here now for about 20 minutes. And in this time, I will make the sauce. I start with frying the onions and the mushrooms. And just to mention it, you can use any kind of mushroom that you like. We have a sort of mushroom in Germany that's called Tüfferlinge. They are super delicious. I really, really love them. I could get them at Central Market here in Houston, but they are very expensive, so I have to stay away from it. less uh, of, the, of the mushroom than I, I do here today because most of the time the sauce is used as a side for um, meals that come with, with the meat and uh, sometimes it's for schnitzel or stuff like that. However, I'm using this today instead of a meat. So this is a vegetarian, not vegan though, meal. And I like this especially in fall very much. Mushrooms are very, very healthy, have lots of vitamin D and lots of minerals. So let's boost our immunity a little bit. Can't do enough in that direction these days. Okay, and let this fry for a little bit. And after a couple of minutes, you see there's some liquid coming out of the mushrooms. And I'll add some salt now and some pepper. And now I'm adding the wine 
and then let it cook until the wine has almost completely evaporated. So this looks good, there's only a little liquid left. And now I am adding the growth. And you can use any kind of growth that you want. I'm using vegetable growth here because this is a vegetarian recipe. And um, if you prefer to use beef growth or chicken growth, you can do that too. And now I'm also adding the cream. Now I have to bring it back to a boil and let this boil for some time to reduce the sauce so that it thickens. You can see here now that this is already getting thicker. It's not that liquid anymore, but still it's a sauce, so it's almost to the point where I want it. It has to boil a little more though. However, I want to try. <coughs> so, let's see how it turned out so far. Oh, I wish you could see my face right now. This is amazing. There's enough salt exactly where I want it to be. I'll add a little more of the pepper. I'm also adding the thyme. I might add a little more in a minute. some more. Oh, delicious. That's enough time. So the thyme has a very much, very strong taste. If you do too much, it's overtaking the mushroom taste. I don't want that. Yeah, so this looks really, really good. I'll reduce the heat a little bit and let it boil for a few more minutes. So, but I want to take out my pretzel dumpling and let me turn off the heat. And carefully remove it from the water. And I'm putting it back on my board here. Now everything back to the kitchen island. Now let's have a look at our pretzel dumpling. I am opening the ends. See, I'm with this one. And the scissor for that. Okay. So it looks a little bit like a banana since I had to bend it a little bit in the pot, but that doesn't really matter. Let me turn this around. So you can see it's very hot. But this has shaped some sort of sausage. So, let's remove the fabric. Now, 
from this I can cut slices and that's something I really like a lot because that makes it easier to portion it like this. the sauce and this is also great if you have leftovers uh, and you want to fry these leftover dumplings in some butter which is delicious um, then you just you know have to cut these into slices and uh, use that for frying you can also do that with the with the sphere shaped dumplings but it's a little bit difficult because they have different sizes so this is a little bit more fun and looks a little better but both ways work perfectly so don't worry about if you prefer to make it differently. What I also like about this method is that the dumplings cannot fall apart in the water. So it sometimes happens if it's too wet um, and there's not enough binding in this uh, mass that they fall apart. Uh, this fell apart a little bit because of the bending that I had to do. But uh, other than that, usually this is a very, very nice way to serve dumplings. Okay, now let me get some sauce and finish this delicious plate. I can't wait to eat this. It's such a good fall menu. I hope you like this. Please subscribe, hit the bell button, and I hope you stay to watch the upcoming videos.